In today's video, we're going to take a look at how to upgrade your Ublek to Fizzy Ublek, a whole new dimension of fun. Most of you have probably made what's called Ublek before. I hope so. It's fun yeah. stuff. It's a sheer, thickening, non-Newtonian fluid, meaning when you apply pressure to it, it gets a lot harder, and when you just let go, it just liquefies and runs everywhere. It's made of two ingredients, cornstarch and water. If you want to get crazy, you add food coloring, and you have colored Ublek. And you don't put it Amazing in your blender. Stuff. Nope, we <laughs> almost broke a blender by trying to blend it, and the Ublek won. It beat the blender. But I found a way to make Ublek even a little more entertaining, I think. I just want to know what experiment was happening that made him think, hey, we should try this. Here's the basic idea. Most of you have probably made the non-Newtonian fluid known as Ublek before. It's made of cornstarch and water, but we want to try taking this to a new level. I'm pretty sure we figured out a way to make fizzy Ublek, which is fun in a whole new way. Ingredient one, cornstarch, good. Ingredient two, water. Ta-da! The hardest part is stirring it, because as soon as you get close to <laughs> Ublek texture, it doesn't like to stir anymore. When you try and stir it, it just kind of breaks. Okay, I think we have some regular Ublek now. In true Ublek fashion, you can pick it up and roll it around, squish it. I was even getting it to like bounce a little bit. But as soon as you stop applying pressure, it just turns into a liquid puddle. So there's normal cornstarch and water, regular Ublek. Now we're going to do what we can to make fizzy Ublek. And for that, we are starting not with plain water, but with white vinegar. Standard stuff available at every grocery store I've ever been to. And we're just gonna start by throwing some uh, white vinegar in the bowl. Now, this is vinegar. It's going to smell like vinegar. It's, if you have any cuts on your hand, it's gonna hurt if it gets in them because it's vinegar. Like it's vinegar. But generally it is safe. You know, don't drink a lot of it. That'd probably make you throw up. All right. Ah. Now we've got Ublek mm -hmm. that, you know, smells and probably tastes like vinegar. I'm not gonna taste this. Cornstarch and water is already bad enough. I don't like the flavor of vinegar. I'm not gonna eat the vinegar cornstarch and water as well. All I right. do like the flavor of vinegar, but I'm not gonna But here we it. go. We've got our little ball of it. Okay. It's Ublecky, and if I stop, it puddles and pours all over the place. Woohoo! Pouring Ublek's always weird because like the stress of pouring solidifies it a little bit so it doesn't want to pour as well. It's very odd. It is odd. Our Ublek, in addition to being turquoise, is also made with vinegar. So if we add a little bit of baking soda. Let's just show you what vinegar and baking soda does on its own. Whee! Very entertaining. Fizz bubble. We use it to make tiny little bottle rockets science projects. You'll see this used a lot of times in science fairs, for volcanoes, fun stuff. And we're just going to take a nice little sprinkling of baking soda, Ooh, throw it onto our Ublek, and we're going to start mixing it in, which again, it's not always the easiest to mix things into baking no, soda. No, but I love that we can already see bubbles. Yes, there are bubbles. Now I'm just going to let this sit. It should cool down, settle uh, down, and there you go. Our Ublek is now fizzing up, but what's fun is it's a foam that's still a non-Newtonian fluid. What the what? Fizzes and bubbles in your hand and you <laughs> squish it and you can feel it collapse as a foam. Callie hasn't done this. I experimented coming up with this. Yeah. But Callie hasn't seen this before, so she's enjoying this for the first time. Look at it. Turns into a foam in your hand and then you can still squish it down into a powder. Like you feel it compress in your hand and then it does the same Ublek thing to solidify and then puddle. Oh but my gosh. But then it gosh. like puddles and then bubbles back up again. It doesn't stay just puddled. This is the newest fun thing ever. Why have we not been doing this? Why, guys, why have we always been, regular Ublex no longer exciting. This is amazing. If anybody needs me in the next four Ooh. videos, I won't be there. I'll be Fell apart. It had so much air in it. Playing that with it, Ublex. It doesn't hold itself together quite the same way. Yeah, definitely weaker. It's not going to be that it's, sheer it's thickening. It's full of carbon dioxide yeah. opening it up so it doesn't interact in the same way. But you do still get the crumbly, and then if you let it sit, it does still melt and puddle oh, down. Oh, now that's odd. Trying to hold it tight in my hand. Oh, because it's expanding. You can watch oh, it's, it. Yeah, it's exploding out from your fingers. On all sides. That is amazing. What exactly <gasps> have we made here? You can feel the bubbles popping in your hands, guys. It's so air filled. But still, even with all that, if I hold this and roll it around on my fingers, it's keeping its semi-rigid shape. And when I stop, puddle, and then bubbles. Well, at this point, I think we've, we've uh, used, up, used up a lot of the, uh, the bubble power. So you get 
10 to 15 minutes of bubbling out of this. I mean, it's gonna keep reacting a little bit less as time goes on, of course, but when it stops reacting, you're mostly still just gonna have Oobleck, Oobleck the original version, Oobleck 1.0, which isn't as good as Oobleck 2.0, the fizzy version. I thought you were gonna take a bite out of it and I was very concerned. Nah, just smelling it. So this is just an aside. Nate had a great question. What happens if you just add a little bit of dish soap to vinegar with baking soda? Well, it didn't move as fast, but you're right. It's like a slow Porman's elephant toothpaste. It's a cool way to make foam. This is exactly how much I wanted it to react. That went perfectly, in my opinion. Oh no, I left her alone with it. He did leave me alone with it. Better. What'd you say, Callie? You volunteered to clean up today? Okay, yeah, cool. That's fine. I'll, I don't care. That's, oh, oh no. Oh no. Okay. Oh no. I gotta go. <laughs> I'm going to remind you before I do this that it was your idea. All right. There's a little extra liquid in here right now. So I've got, I've got pretty runny. It's oobleck, but it's the runny, runny kind. Oobleck. Oh good. Oh good. Oh good. Oh no. Oh good. <laughs> but what's the texture like if you ah! use your hands? It's, <laughs> we've made foam. We've, I don't. Like powdery foam? We've made powder foam. There's, I couldn't mix it all the way. There's still stuff underneath to mix. Oh no. <laughs> Guys, this stuff is awesome. <laughs> what in the world have we done? It's fantastic. It's yeah, it's done. growing though. It's, it's, I just, let's just leave it. Let's just let it live its life. I'm gonna help it live its life a little bit more. This is gonna be a lot of life. Oh, that's too much life. No, that is. Too much life, Callie, too much life. <laughs> no, I gave it life. Yeah, now I'm gonna have to clean the studio. Dr. Callie Frankenstein. It's alive! Oh, <laughs> good, good. This table's now orange. All right, Nate, what have you got? Uh, so far, just a bowl of pink Oobleck 1.0 made with vinegar, ready for some baking soda to make it fizzy. And then as soon as I get that stirred, I'm gonna put it into the vacuum chamber, throw the lid on, and turn the vacuum chamber on like to it. see how much it expands in low pressure. I'm guessing a lot. I really hope so. Well, it's bubbling a lot. Yeah. It does look very alive, so, you know, we got that. And it's not settling down terribly. I mean, it's already settled some. We don't have the same bigger bubbles that we had at first, but the way that's just like bouncing around is pretty cool. So I'm gonna try, take the balloon off now. So we just got a balloon that's mostly full of oobleck, which is odd because like, I don't know, that's weird. Like you squeeze it and it just stops. It like resists you pretty hard. Uh, yep, okay. But then like, if you're really gentle with it, you can squish it and squeeze it. I'm gonna turn this vacuum chamber off. I think that the bubbles are, you know, exaggerated a lot because, of course, there's very little pressure in there. So let's see what happens if we uh, let pressure back into those bubbles. Yep. Let the pressure back in and most of the bubbling stopped. So it could have just been, you know, boiling the water because of all of the low pressure. But that is pretty interesting to see. What's the texture on this like now? Pretty much regular oobleck at this okay. point. So you've taken all the carbon dioxide we, right Yeah, we kept it reacting in there for quite a while. Ooh, it's very cold. No more. No, I think that's plenty. You sure? No. Now it's plenty. Okay. I think you did it. I did it. So we have a balloon full of... Air. Fizzy oobleck but mostly air yeah. because it's produced enough carbon dioxide that the oobleck isn't so oobleck-y anymore. Well, that's an entertaining thing we came up with. <laughs> Three, two, one. I'm scared. <laughs> oh. Sure enough, just fizzy oobleck. Not a ton, but it's still bubbling. Neat. There it is, the better oobleck, oobleck 2.0, fizzy Worth oobleck. Worth playing with. Very fun. Very good chance you have all the ingredients already. If you uh, want to add soap to it for another added dimension, you can. The only thing you need after that is uh, somebody to clean up your mess. Okay, not it. Nose goes. <laughs> <laughs>
We already decided that you're cleaning today. There's no nose goes at this point. It's a done decision. Fine. Ha ha ha. Guys, that is it for today, but we've always got more for you to see. If you hit that box down at the bottom, you'll be subscribed to the channel. That way you'll never miss out on a cool video like this. We'll see you in the next one.